This is our second naming video, and uh, we're going to take this structure right here. Would you draw the appropriate chain length as a skeleton, put your chlorines on in the right places, and uh, do that while you stop the video. Okay, now as you come back, you should have had one, two, three, four carbons in your chain. That makes it a butane. And we have chlorines on, since this chlorine is closest to this, well, it's on an end, then that, that's going to be our number one carbon. So this is a two, oh, I'm sorry, one, two, dichloro, butane. Okay, let's do this guy. This would be the same kind of deal, same length chain. And instead of having chlorines here, we have bromines. So this is a 1,2-dibromo, uh, I'm sorry, butane. 1,2-dibromo, butane. Now let's look at these guys here. And what we have is, oh, we've already done that. So let's go to the new, a different book. And let's look at some examples in there. And in here, we have examples of aldehydes and ketones. So this will be excellent naming for us. Why is this guy called methanol? Because he's only one carbon long, which makes him like methane. And he's got one carbonyl group, the C double bond O. See right here? It's got the one carbonyl group. Okay, because that's all we have, it is a methanal, M-E-T-H-A-N-A-L. The A-L tells us that we have an aldehyde. So aldehydes could be just one carbon long. Now let's look at the next example here. This is ethanol. Now why is this ethanol? because we have the carbonyl group again on the end. You'll notice that he has a hydrogen. And in this case, he's bonded to one other carbon, which makes it like ethane. But we take the E off of ethane, and now we add the AL ending, and this becomes ethanol. Common name for this is is acetaldehyde and the common name for this guy would be formaldehyde. That's what we use to pickle dead specimens in the bio labs. Okay, let's go to propanone which is also known as acetone. Now ladies, this is what you take your fingernail polish off with. And this is not an aldehyde this time. Why? Because the carbon carbonyl group the carbon-oxygen combination, are in the center of the molecule. It's three long, so this is propanone. Since on a three-carbon chain, we can only have one position for this to be an alcohol, or to be a, a, I'm sorry, a ketone. To be a ketone, we just call this propanone. Now, another way to name this, which uh, is not here in the book, is to call this dimethyl, see these guys are each methyls, considered to be on this carbon, so it's dimethyl ketone, just another way to name it. Now let's look at this guy. Here's a 2-propanone. Propanone because it has 1, 2, 3, 4, oh, pentanone, <laughs> not propanone, 1, two, three, four, five. So we have five carbons in the chain, and this guy is closest to this end, so we're going to have one, two, two propanone. And now let's go to our next example, which is our last, and this is a three chlorobutanel. So you see, we can have substituents on these aldehydes and ketones. <clears throat> so, because it's an aldehyde, this guy is on the end, 
And the double bond, O, the carbonyl group, has a hydrogen, the carbonyl group, and a bond to this carbon. That gives its, its total of four bonds. Chlorine is on carbon one, two, three. That's why we call it three chloro, and I like to leave a space after the chloro, and call it butanel at the end. So there's some more examples for you. I hope you're getting it by now.